When I realized I got the answer to happiness, I decided to go and study to become a counselor. So I applied and I finished to be a counselor and then I opened up the, like, I rented a little room. I thought, that's it, this is my dream come true, I'm going to start helping people, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help people to come back to love and that's what I'm going to do. So I opened up the, the little uh, room. With, I put the books, I put the chair, everything was nice, good. And the people start coming in. I, I work for that woman, she had a client, so people start coming in. And then after a while, I realized what counseling is. Counseling is actually, like, I, I could see the problem that those people have, but actually, I realized that people didn't come to me to solve their problem. People come to me to approve of their story. They just wanted the approval of the story they're telling me. So, and then I realized what's the point for me to sit here and to approve that the story that they already have in their head, because I clearly can see the reason why they're not happy. And if I tell them the reasons, and, and I did tell them the reason, that was the reason I wasn't working there anymore, because my boss told me, you know what, Ina, with you, I'm not gonna make any money. But by, by you doing this, she said, by telling them the reasons why they're not happy, they're not going to come back here anymore. That means there's no $75. You have to tell them, like, uh, oh, yeah, I understand. How do you feel? And you have to ask them questions. I think you go, have to go and study more. And then I realized that's it. It's not for me. But I was very happy I'd done it. Because I remember when I was a child, I loved movies. Going to the movies was like a family thing. I, I used to go with my dad and my mom and I was so excited. And after we uh, come out uh, from the movie, I will, will always talk with my mom. Oh, what do you think? Uh, why do you think he did this? What would have happened if he wouldn't? Oh, and that is how, that after the movie, we always had those conversations. And this is how I've learned a lot of things after the movie. For me, and, and some movies that I like, I watched a million times. And then I realized after I done that counseling, that the movie would be the best thing because the people I want to uh, actually deliver my message to, they might not read, they might not uh, think there's something they are missing and they don't know the reason why they're unhappy, but they all go to the movies. So I, cannot, I came up with the answer to myself that the movie is actually would be the best for me, first of all, because um, the big audience, the movies have a big audience. Secondly, people, without even realizing, that's where they can learn. And my message of love and the way how Lita can deliver that message is really different. The actually poster for that movie that I came up with, it, uh, Lita looks a little bit sluttish, and that's what I thought gonna draw the any type of audience in, the women because they like that look and the men because oh there is a slut there so oh, it might be interesting. And, uh, and while they all in, slowly, 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 slowly we can just throw on them the biggest bombshell of life. I, do, you, do you guys want to be happy? Oh, you want to be happy, then you have to come back to love. Because the way we're all living now, and all our society living now, there's no happiness here. Yeah, you, can, you might have a car, you might have a house, you might have lots of drugs, or you might have a booth, like a lot of alcohol, but th this is not happiness. This is actually escape, complete escape from happiness. And that movie actually shows before and after and, uh, and, and it's, it's actually a very interesting movie, it's, it's very fast and it's current.